Bhaktamara Stotra is a famous Jain Sanskrit prayer. It was composed by Acharya Manatunga. The name Bhaktamara comes from a combination of two Sanskrit names, Bhakta and Amar. Illustrative of Rishabhanatha, Folio Bhaktamara Stotra The prayer praises Rishabhanatha, the first Tirthankara of Jainism in this time cycle. There are 48 verses in total. The last verse gives the name of the author Manatunga. Bhaktamar verses have been recited as a stotra, and sung as a stavan, somewhat interchangeably. Other Jain prayers have taken after these, additional verses here praise the omniscience of Adinath. While devotionals are considered a source for lay understandings of Jain doctrine. According to legends, Manatunga Acharya was chained and imprisoned by the local king Boj. Manatunga Acharya composed this stotra in the prison. With the completion of each verse, a chain broke, or a door opened. Manatunga was free when all the verses were finished. Bakamara Stotra was composed by Manatunga in 6th century CE. Legends associate Manatunga with a ruler named Boha. However Manatunga probably lived a few centuries before Raja Boha of Dara. He is identified by some scholars as Kshepanaka, one of the Navaratnas in the court of legendary Vikramaditya. An unidentified Sanskrit poet Matanga, composer of Brahdeshi on music theory, may also have been the same person. Bhaktamara Stotra was composed sometime in the Gupta or the post-Gupta period, making Manatunga approximately contemporary with other Navaratnas like Kalidasa and Varaha Mahira. Several spots near Bhopal and Dara are traditionally associated with Manatunga. Acharya Manatunga was put under arrest in 48 chambers under locks and chains by King Bhoha in city of Ujjain. In the prison Acharya Manatunga entered the realms of the Lord Rishabhanatha and started the prayer. He wrote in Sanskrit language a poem known as Bhaktamara Stotra having 48 stanza in Jainism. The chants and prayers of Manatunga were thus in full brim, flowing with the unbound energy of chain reaction. Due to the effect of Bhaktamara Stotra, Acharya Mantunga no more remained imprisoned as the locks opened automatically. Bhaktamara Stotra is believed to be at least a thousand years old, though many believe it to be still older. Bhaktamara Stotra has been passed down from generation to generation. It is an ageless panegyric. The importance and effectiveness is believed to have increased with the passage of time. Bhaktamara Stotra is recited by many with religious regularity. The original Stotra is in Sanskrit. The Bhaktamara Stotra had 52 stanzas earlier but because of their power they were removed and now there are 48 stanzas at present. Every stanza has four parts. Every part has 14 letters. The complete panegyric is formed by 2688 letters. It is said that some specific stanzas are miraculously effective for fulfillment of different purposes. Bhaktamara Stotra is widely illustrated in paintings. At the Sanghiji Temple at Sanganar, there is a panel illustrating each verse. The verses of Bhaktamara are thought to possess magical properties. A mystical diagram, Yantra, is associated with each verse. Sadik Shivanan Saraswati has painted a number of Yantras associated with Bhaktamara Stotra. There is a temple at Baruch with a section dedicated to the Bhaktamar and its author Manatunga. The Bhaktamara Stotra is composed in the meter Vashantan Tilka. All the 14 syllables of this meter are equally divided between short and long syllables I. E. Seven Lagu and seven Gurus and this belongs to Sakfari group of meters. It is believed that such an equal division into short and long syllables will help an aspirant attain the state of equanimity quickly, the meter itself serving as a catalyst. Bhaktamara Stotra was translated into Braj Basha by Hemraj Panda in the style of translation of Kalyana Mandir Stotras by Banasitis. Thanks for watching.